uh, welcome to this video. Today we are going to see how the page special of Excel function, Excel tool is helping us. Generally, we are using Ctrl C and Ctrl V, right, for copying and pasting. But beyond that, we can use the copy pasting in an innovative way. That is such a versatile tool also given by the Excel. I am going to demonstrate how we are going to use the paste special in a different way, right? So for explaining that, we have a simple example tables, example sheets. I will explain one by one. For example, if you are coming to the paste special, so if you are selecting the cells and here is a copy, right? You can click on the copy. So it is copied and transferred to your clipboard. And now we can paste anywhere. You can go to any destination cell or cells. You can make paste, right? So here the paste also available in the ribbon. You see, here is the ribbon. You can click this. You can see these much options. In the bottom, paste special. Is there? No, you just click that paste special. So if you are clicking the paste special, we will be able to see this dialog box. The same dialog box I copied here just for easy reference, right? These are the options of the paste special, right? By default, all is selected and none also have been selected. Just by clicking there, that is copied, isn't it? So what, what we did using the Ctrl C and Ctrl V, the same thing is available as a tool, right? So here, what we are able to notice in that paste special, so instead of going to menu and clicking the paste special, simply we can say right click and in the dialog box we can click on the paste special. You see, once again I'm showing and deleting this screen, uh, clear all. You keep mouse pointer anywhere, anywhere in the cells, in the sheet, uh, just right click this dialog pop up menu. In that we can see paste special not selected because no one has already selected. Now I'm copying this. Now see, something is in the clipboard. So, now we are getting this dialog box. If you are clicking this dialog box, the paste special option, we can see this pop-up menu. In that pop-up menu, you can see formulas, values, formats. What are the meaning of all these functions? Here is the table with the simple explanation of these options. The formula in the sense, we can copy a formula from one cell to another cell, right? For example, you are calculating something there, you might be using some formula. You want to copy the formula. By the time you can use these formulas, you can check this so that that formula will be copied to some other cell. I will show you in the demonstration. Okay. And the next one is value. Simply, we want to copy the values. This one is the formats. You have highlighted or colorings or font size is different. Different special fonts they are using in that format. All those formats we can copy. So that is the format copy. Next one is a comment. In some cells, you are giving some prompt message or is some comments inbuilt. That comments also can be copied, right? In case, if you are giving some, if you, are, you have given some theme, you are designing, that also can be copied. Except borders, only, only values. I don't want to that touch check boxes or some format, the tables, uh, that, what is that, the borders and all. So that can be done. The column width, different column width also can be. So these are the self-explanatory. Self Just you pause the video and you can go through that. You can understand the same thing I'm going to demonstrate using some examples. Okay. Now I'm closing this. And this is the just a screenshot. Let it be here. I am just moving to the next sheet. So here you see, these are the sheets. How can we see the sheets? See in the left bottom corner, we can see one small triangles. One is in the green, one is in the not selected mode, right? You just keep the mouse pointer left side anywhere, okay? Left side and click your mouse right button. You can see the pop up menu. Here we can see how many tabs are there, how many sheets are, worksheets are there in the Excel sheets are there in the workbook, okay? So the first one is one, two, three, four, five sheets are there, but you see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 sheets are there. In case 10 sheets, we cannot see because the browse bar occupies some space, right? By the time we have to click on that, we have to move, otherwise we have to use this one. So instead, we can click this so that we can see the menu. 
we can go to anyone we just select that save okay now we are see we are in this place special table image one second i want to come back you select you select this you click on this we are coming back to the first sheet so like that we can move using the menu options in this right now i am going to the next sheet here see this is an example table i have taken okay this table shows um, one metro one mall let us assume this is a mall from one branch otherwise uh, in this area from 7th to 7th that particular day the data is here okay so this data table i want to copy to this place how can we copy you select that you select the table complete table and go to the copy you click that copy and come down you place the mouse pointer wherever you want to copy the table and right click your mouse and you see you are getting the pop up menu click on that paste special now we are getting this dialog box it's a toggling you can move anywhere in the screen okay so here by default the all and none has been selected what we are going to do we are going to copy this table into new place right what you want to copy if you are clicking simply okay in a sense as it is the table will be copied but i want to copy only only the values okay so by the time you can select you can click on this values and say okay you see only values not even the tables this borders and the highlighted font size nothing simply values okay so this is a value this is a value but what is the background color that is a format that is an attribute of the particular cell what is the coloring that also one of the format that's the attribute of the particular cell contents so this also only value text only is copied or numbers are copied okay now i want to bring down this formats to my newly copied area i can say you select this then control c is a copy control c i am selecting control c instead of going there and come down to this cell i am keeping the mouse pointer at rita this place and right click click on the paste special now what you want to copy not the contents not the contents not the values only format you see select these formats and say okay now see that only formats have been copied not values okay generally uh, every cell having two parameters one is value another one is format the value is the text otherwise numbers whatever we are giving that is a value what is the parameter coloring the text font size or bold face or background so all these things are the formats so together only it will be giving some meaning i am selecting this and uh, press control c coming down to this area okay so this format i want to copy to this row, location right click the mouse and uh, click on the paste special what we have to select formats because i want to copy the formats just click you see format only copied okay all using source theme what is the source theme the background font size all these things select that save okay you see from the source the theme that particular cell has been copied it's a merge and center operation given here that's completely copied bring down the values see the values comes to this place now if you are going to destination so source place here we can see the formula you see in the formula bar we can see this is the formula but the same value copied here if you are coming to this place we are not able to see the formula because only copy we we have copied only the value not formula so how can you bring down the formula you select the cell control c control c come down to this cell right click paste special now i want to bring down the formula he select the formula and say okay now formula is has been copied if you see if you are clicking this here we can notice the formula what is the formula saying d11 and d11 you just press f2 now it is showing these two cells involved in this formula but if you are going to this formula you use f2 it is showing these two cells we have copied only formula the formula having these two references these cells references the same way this formula also referencing this one right so how the reference mechanism involved in the previous formula the same mechanism here has been involved in this the complete cells control c control c and come down you select the complete cells 
right click paste special formula the complete whole cells formula also will be transferred okay here is the validation see in this cell the validation is there what is the validation whenever the user tries to fill some data tries to input some data we are restricting only these are the valid information data birth column should uh, the input only data birth only we cannot give any age isn't it so there is a restriction validation here the tenton is there i am trying to 50 50 what it is saying it is error because some validation rule already inbuilt it how we can do that that we will see in the next some other video just understand that the validation rule is implemented there what are the column the branch access code this is the branch access codes i am clearing all the branch access codes by clearing these of course i am for ensuring formats also clear now it is a empty cells now i want to enter the branch address branch code access code that is 55 it is accepted right because th there is no validation rule so how can we inbuild this i don't want to inbuild i want to copy the validation rule as it is because the table is same you know so that is why i am selecting and copy and come down to this place select the cells and right click paste a special validation save okay that's all implemented now see the 55 already entered data so that is why it is simply holding the value if you're trying one second 55 or for triple five it won't it won't accept it will be giving throw some error okay so this is how the validation rule also can be copied from our source place to destination place here also you see if you are giving thousand because the validation rule is fixed as thousand to two thousand not accepting i think the validation is only thousand five hundred see thousand five hundred is accepting but a thousand five hundred and one is not accepting okay the validation is thousand to thousand five hundred is accepted so this is the way we can copy down the validation all except borders what are the all except borders see i am deleting all these things clearing all now i want to copy these contents okay select ctrl c come down place the mouse pointer here right click paste paste special so what we are trying to work out all except borders means the values only will be see simply say okay see these cells having some dark check boxes right the dark check boxes of every cells is missing here but we have copied the format we have copied the values except the borders so that is what it is saying okay so a control z a removed for example you are filling some survey forms the survey forms generally having different column width manually if you want to change the column width and all it's a very time taking process rather you can select the complete format you can bring down uh, if you want to copy you only column width you can use this checkbox this bullet you can select this option so that the specific columns will be copied column width will be copied so that is why it is very helpful in case of copying the bigger tables okay and uh, formulas and number formats so here we can copy the formulas as well as number formats you see i am saying okay uh, already we have copied you know so this is control c copied coming to this place right click paste special formulas and number formats you see the formulas also copied numbers formats also copied so what is the meaning of number format you see here it's the rupees it is showing two decimal places four lakhs four lakhs are yes four lakhs dot zero zero so the dot dot and dot uh, the decimal places also showing no so that is what here is this also rupees but we did not have any decimal places so here only is the decimal places that also copied okay so that is what the meaning of the copy formats values and format formats right i'm selecting this table Control c placing the mouse pointer here right click and paste special transpose you see it will be simply transpose all titles the row values becomes column and all columns becomes row you see the hyd abd this and all goes to went to this area right so column into row row into column now the table also becomes smaller so that we can accommodate 
in a A4 size, in the vertical manner, right? Okay, so for printing formation or transporting the table from one kind of printing format to another kind, we can make use of appropriately, we can make use of this option. Okay, just have a look at that. And adding, adding is there, the skip blanks also is there. Okay, now we are moving to the next one. Okay, so I am coming to next table. Here, let us assume this is the internal marks table, this is the semester marks table. The final marks, what we should do, the internal marks plus semester marks should be added. Right, so how we can do this format is already given, already taken, and we are taking this cell contents control C and bringing down to new table, right click, paste special. We want to copy the values. Simply say, okay, before that, in case of any blank spaces, skip blank spaces. Unfilled columns, unfilled cells also will be ignored. See, I have copied this complete cell to new. This is semester marks. Now, I want to add this semester, mark, uh, semester marks to the internal marks. Now, copy this semester marks, control C, place the mouse pointer here, right click, go to the place special and what the operation we are going to do? We are going to bring down the values and going to add it. You select the add button. In case of any blanks, skip it. Now see, it has been added. So what are the value? This one is a 1, this one is a 59. So here it should be 60. Yes, 60. What of this value? Here it is a 32. Here is a 0. 32 plus 0, 32. Right? So this table, the complete table is added with this table and we have generated a new table. So this new table can be displayed. Next, I am coming to one more place. This is a merging. Let us assume this is a table with some data. This is another table. Of course, resembling the same table but missing some records. Here, the complete record has been given. Here also complete record has been given. But here, the previous version, only two places, two marks posted. Here, uh, the remaining marks are posted. Okay, I am removing, deleting this. Here, only three available. Here, it is a two data available. I want to match. So, what we can do, select the cells, complete cells, control C and place once again where you want to copy down. Here, the blank spaces are there. No, we have to ignore the blank spaces. We need not add it. Only 18 has the value. The cell has the value. This should be transferred. Okay, so select it, copy and come down, select this area and right click, go to paste special, bring down the value, skip blanks and we are not doing any addition subtraction, right? Click it, you see? 18 and 14 have been copied. Now the record becomes full, right? So here you see, this is also here, control C, I am coming down to Rena. Select the complete record of Rena. right click, go to paste special and take the values, skip the blank spaces, click OK. Now it becomes the full record. So this is how we can merge the two tables using the paste special. So we can make use of the paste special tool in an innovative way. I hope this video is very helpful. Thank you for watching.